and welcome to another packing video and this time things are going to be a little bit different. I am no longer hiking solo. Derek and I are taking on the Cleveland Way so if you don't know what that is I will of course put a link in the description box below so you can check that out but it's a national trail here in the UK. It runs from Helmsley to Filey and it's 110 miles long which is 177 kilometres. In 1969 this loop was established around the North Yorkshire Moors National Park and it's the second trail to be established in Britain. The route normally does take about nine days but we are planning on doing it in five and a half which I know is a little bit adventurous but we thought hey we're up for the challenge. We're going to be going through moorlands, seaside villages, fishing villages, we are going to be seeing dramatic coastlines, castles, ancient stones, all those kind of things. And it's going to be like two completely different experiences having all those contrasts. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're also going to be staying in youth hostels, Airbnbs and B&Bs along the way. So we've decided not to camp this time round because quite honestly, it is absolutely freezing outside. It was below freezing this morning when we went out for a walk. And we just thought we're doing a lot of mileage. We're doing it in a short space of time. And we want a little bit of luxury on an evening for a change. Obviously the trips that we're doing later in the year, we are going to be camping, but for this one we just thought, let's just relax a little bit. So, without further ado, let me show you what's in our packs. What has been quite funny whilst doing all this packing is that we've got pretty much identical things. It's quite funny, our piles kind of mirror each other to a certain extent, because obviously we've both got the same hobbies and interests, which I thought was quite funny. So I'll show you what I've got first and then I'll show you what Derek's taken as well, which probably won't take too long. I think he's a bit more of a minimalist than I am. So the bag I'm taking is this one here, which is the Osprey Aura 65 litre, but I'm taking it without the brain. Now I took this on the PCT, or should I say I got it whilst out on the PCT, and it doesn't smell very nice, but <laughs> it's still working and it's still functional. And it's going to be way too big for what we need because we're not carrying that much stuff, I'm not taking tents or sleeping bags or anything but the other bag that I've got is only 18 litres so I'm not sure everything's going to fit in there because we are taking a bag of food as well that will see us throughout the week but I thought I'd just make do with it rather than buy another bag, have that extra expense and have something else cluttering up the home because if I bought another bag I probably wouldn't use it because we're going away another couple of times this year and we will be camping which means I will be using the bigger bag so that's why my bag's bigger than it needs to be, but that's okay, I don't mind that. Now, let me crack on and show you what clothes I'm taking. Now the clothes I am going to be wearing are literally what I've got on, so underwear, socks, my Columbia trousers, I think this is an old mountain warehouse base layer top, like an ISO cool I think it's called. I have got my mountain equipment synthetic hoodie up here which I'll be taking to keep warm. I've also got... Oh, the Patagonia fleece, which is what I wore whilst out on the PCT, so that's a nice lightweight fleece. I will be wearing my Brooks Cascadia trail runners to hike in, and that is pretty much it for what I'll be wearing on a normal day. The extra clothes that I'm taking are one pair of socks, one pair of knickers, a t-shirt to sleep in probably, or to wear over the top of my base layer if I think my fleece is going to be too hot and some pyjamas and the pyjamas are my Patagonia Capelline Thermals I just thought if I'm cold and I'm hiking I've got those as a backup as well I've also got some waterproofs so I've got my Patagonia waterproof jacket and some Burhouse waterproof trousers I have got my Patagonia Fisherman beanie I think it's called I've decided to take some extreme weather gloves because we went out for a hike I think only the other day and it was absolutely freezing cold and my other gloves just didn't cut it and also if it's raining these are waterproof so I'm taking these I think the Sirius or Cirrus brand I have got a baseball cap which is a North Face Horizon cap two buffs now one buff is to wear around my neck because it is freezing cold and the other one, I quite like wearing these around my hair. So I'll use that as like a headband or just something to keep my ears warm if I feel like it's too warm for a warm hat. I think that's pretty much it clothes wise. Yep, that's it for clothes. So 
electronics. Now this is where usually I get quite weighed down but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I have got a head torch which is the Black Diamond Cosmos I think it's called. I have got a RAV power portable charger so like a power bank. I think that's 10,600 milliamps that one. So that's half the size of the anchor that I have but we're just not going to need that much power for our electronics because we're not camping so it's a lot lighter which is why I'm taking that and it's got the cable in there obviously to be able to plug it in and charge it up. I am taking my Rode Wireless Go microphones and this is going to be attached to my camera and it just allows me to have better audio when I'm vlogging. I've got two Canon replacement batteries in case the one in the camera runs out. So I've got three batteries in total for Canon ones. I have got three memory cards here, one in the camera. So that will be 160 gigabytes of memory I can use. I have my iPhone, the power charger for the iPhone and also the power cord for my wireless go microphones. And that is pretty much it for electronics. I think I've done quite well there, not done too badly. I usually go a bit crazy with electronics. The camera I will hopefully be taking is the Canon G7X Mark III, but if it doesn't arrive, it will be the Mark II, which is this one I'm filming on, which is a little bit battered, so I hope it lasts the journey, but I'll be taking that with me, as well as this little tripod, which is what I've used so many times. It's the Ultrapod, and I love it. It's great for holding out and also balancing. It's just nice and lightweight, rather than taking a full-size tripod. I'll be taking a 20-litre waterproof bag and I will use this as a liner for my backpack so I can keep all my clothes and electronics in it if it's raining and I've also got a smaller one which will be filled with food which is what we'll be carrying our lunches in. We have also decided to carry water bottles and this is something I didn't do on a long distance through hike but something I really want to do on this one. I'm taking my hydro flask because I love having a hot drink when it's freezing cold outside so we've decided to take these and take out a hot drink every morning with us just as a nice treat and because it is freezing cold. I've also decided to take a Nalgene bottle which is a hard kind of plastic bottle which holds up to one litre. I'm taking my trekking poles as well as my sunglasses and my seat mat. I've got a bandana here which is just something to use if I need to wipe anything down or if we need a towel where we can't get one, anything like that. Also the walking book for the Cleveland Way which is by Cicerone. So that's the Cleveland Way and the Yorkshire Wills Way but obviously I only need the Cleveland Way section. I just like something to read on a night and it's got all the information about the places that we're going to be passing through and I like to share that with people. I'm going to try and put as much information about where we're passing on the vlogs as possible and I just think it's fun to learn where you're going rather than just looking at scenery. I like to know the history about things as well. For cosmetics and first aid I am taking my Green People Day Cream which is an SPF 15. I'm taking coconut oil, obviously use coconut oil for everything, I love it. A hair tie, some lip balm, I've got my vitamin B12 spray as well as some Luco tape, and this is what I use for blisters on the feet or if we need to tie anything together. It's really good that it's just super, super sticky, so it's got multi purpose. I've got a miniature first aid kit, some hand sanitizer, some Neosporin, which is an antiseptic ointment, ibuprofen, some sterile wound cleansing wipes, and that is pretty much everything I'm taking, which I don't think is too bad. <laughs> now this is Derek's pile, which looks a lot less than mine, so I think I know who's going to be carrying extra food. <laughs> now he is taking the Osprey Aura 65 backpack, so we had both of these in the house, and we genuinely just thought, what is the point of spending all that extra money on getting new bags when we can make do with what we've got? So he'll be carrying that, which will probably be way too big, but it's just one of those things. Now the clothes he is going to be wearing is a pair of trousers, a base layer, a fleece, obviously underwear and the shoes that he might be wearing at the moment, we haven't fully decided yet, 
are these hiking boots which is by a company called Will's Vegan Shoes and they're based in Europe. There's the option he might wear his trainers but we're not quite sure, depending on the weather it might sway his decision. Now the spare clothes that he is going to be taking is a synthetic coat which is a puffy, that's by a brand called Montaigne and he has got waterproofs which are similar to mine, obviously just a different size, the Burr House waterproof trousers and a waterproof coat by a brand called OEX. The warm hat he'll be taking is the Patagonia beanie which is the same as mine but a different colour. He's also taking some winter gloves and a baseball cap and a buff and then the spare clothes that he'll be taking is a t-shirt, some base layer, so a top and bottom base layer and some underwear. Now he's also taking a pair of sunglasses and a seat pad and carrying some SPF 15 face moisturiser so that's obviously for sun protection as well as moisture. Carrying our toothbrushes, so this is why my toothbrush isn't over there, some wet wipes and toothpaste lip balms and some tissues. He'll also be carrying a waterproof bag, this is a Cedar Summit one which is 20 litres as well and that will be on the inside of his pack to put any clothes or electronics in whilst it's raining, which it probably will. And lastly he'll be taking his Manfrotto tripod and his Olympus Omni camera with, which lens is he taking? I think it's a 17mm but he might be taking his other one as well, I'm not sure. He'll also be taking spare batches for the camera as well as a multi-purpose tool which is like a Swiss army knife kind of thing but it's got lots of different accessories on it. And that is it, oh and also his hydro flask so he'll be taking one of those as well so we can both have nice hot beverages on a morning when we're setting out on trail. I hope you have enjoyed this video and seen everything that we're taking with us on the Cleveland Way. The next video we are probably going to be going out for a training hike and I might show you all the types of different foods that we're taking with us if you're interested in seeing that. But if you have any comments or questions please feel free to put them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible but I might be on the Cleveland way by the time this video goes out or might already have been and come back again but I promise you I will get back to you just as soon as I can. And until next time, goodbye!